20 years after Barry Odom led the bullbound Tigers of 97 on the field, he coaches the 2017 Mizzou football team back to the postseason. The Tigers are going bowling next on This Week in Mizzou Football. This Week in Mizzou Football is brought to you by Bud Light, proud friend of the Missouri Tigers and famous among friends. University of Missouri Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center where yes finds a way. Papa John's, when the Tigers play, you save with Papa John's. Use the promo code Mizzou50 on each Tiger football game day and get 50% off your regular menu price online order only at papajohns.com. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. And Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. This segment of This Week in Mizzou Football is presented by Shelter Insurance. For a free auto, home, and life insurance protection review, visit your local shelter agent or find us on the web at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield, we're your shelter. Tigers trying to win their fifth consecutive game and gain bowl eligibility tonight on the road as the Keep It Rolling Tour has arrived in Nashville, Tennessee. No Tiger team had ever scored at least 45 points in four straight games until this tear. This whole season is historic. The players have also been having fun on the field. I think they have played uh, in a more loose fashion. But it's incredible the turnaround uh, within one season. Missouri's first possession of the game. Running right is Witter across the 40, running room 35 30. Ish outside 25, popped off his feet at the 20. Three of the Tiger receivers to the bottom of your screen. Lock instead to the top to the tight end, and it is caught. Touchdown. That's big Albert O, and Mizzou's on the board. His eighth touchdown reception of the season, Okwu Ebuna, puts Missouri on top. Sherber wants to throw, pressure up the middle, throws it, out pattern, Scott intercepted Sparks at the 35, first down for Missouri at the Vandy 31 as Adam Sparks read it, jumped the route, and picks up the first interception of his Missouri career. Three receivers split left, movement up front once again, player in the neutral zone, free play, Locke's going to throw it left sideline. And it's Jamon Moore streaking towards the end zone, one man to beat, and he's tackled near the 10 yard line. And this is what they do, they will continue over and over again to take shots like this down the field to Moore. Option to the right side, pitch it to Roundtree to the 10, to the 5, to the pylon, touchdown Missouri. So after the 71-yard pass, Larry Roundtree takes it in from 12 yards out. So Andy Ludwig watching his quarterback, Shermer, roll out and throw the interception. It's picked off by Lee. Lee's got blockers in front. He flips the tackle and scores. 42-yard pick six for my man Brandon Lee. They throw it out right side. Sherfield hit as soon as he catches it at the 22. Loses three, blown up by Demarcus AC with another great play defensively. That is about as good of a defensive play. Coming up and just blowing up a receiver. Great anticipation. Bot takes the snap. Looking left. Steps up. Hit as he throws. Out pattern. Wide open is Floyd at the five. Tight ropes. Touchdown, Missouri. He tight ropes that left sideline. I don't know how Rashad Floyd did that, but he stayed in bounds the whole way after making the catch. And then still, just for fun, tiptoed along the sideline. This is a touchdown with some of the most nimble footwork you'll ever see. Rugby style, squibs it, takes a big bounce at the 45, picked up at the 26-yard line. Floyd gets outside, gets the same to the 35, to the 40, to midfield, left sideline may go. 30, 20, 10, house call. Floyd, back-to-back -back TDs, Missouri, 34. Vanderbilt nothing. And this is what Missouri will do to you. The route is on. Marcus in motion to the right side. Stretch play running right as Rivers blowing up by Kale Garrett at the 35. He came 
flying through a hole from right to left to blow up the running back for a loss of four. That is the way you play middle linebacker. Shermer sacked back at the 45, blowing up by guess who? who? Kale Kale Garrett. Garrett. Carney, Missouri's own. Just absolutely obliterated Kyle Shermer, who's a little wobbly as he gets his team back in a huddle. Missouri some seven plus minutes away from becoming bowl eligible and winning their fifth consecutive game. On a third and eight, it's Albert O again. Touchdown, 57 yards. Let's say the entire name one more time. Okue Bunam. Give him a ninth touchdown on the season. Well, that's Michael Jordan, 61 against Boston hot right there. Having a breakthrough performance tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Missouri on their way to bowl eligibility. First and goal from the three. Shermer with pressures, throws it in the end zone. Intercepted by Terry Beckner Jr. at the three. Sheds a tackler to the 15 to the 20. A wall of blockers to the 30. Angley middle of the field to the 45. Gets to midfield. Beckner Jr. returns it to the Vandy 47 yard line. He wanted it for a moment. I thought he just might get it. We know he's a freak of an athlete. I thought he just might do it for a moment. He showed flashes of being a running back. My goodness. Barry Odom in his second season, folks, is taking Missouri bowling. The Tigers win their fifth consecutive game. And in the Red Hot Tigers will take the Keep It Rolling Tour to Fayetteville next Friday. Again, the final, Missouri 45, Vandy 17. Next. Let's go bowling, baby! The Tigers celebrate clinching a bowl berth as this week in Mizzou football continues. Mizzou Athletics would like to thank our premier partners, MU Healthcare and Shelter Insurance. Let's go, Bud Be awesome to have this guy around all the time. Let's go, Bud Lightyear! Like the lights all around. Let's go, Bud I was wrong. This is where you belong. Now go before I change my mind. Let's go, Bud Lightyear! Let's go, Bud Here's to the friends you can always count on. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> This Week in Mizzou Football is presented by University of Missouri Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way. I am so damn happy and proud for you, seniors. Yeah. This is what we talked about. Great job holding together, showing unbelievable resolve when things weren't great. Tonight it wasn't always perfect, but we found a way that we out-teamed them, scored in kicking, Offense did enough, defense did enough, and scored. That's a hell of a team win. I'm damn proud of you. Give yourself a round of applause. Hey. 
the opportunity that's out there, okay, we all know, right? We're going to a bowl game. Hell yeah. 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 Now, that's awesome. But it's only going to be more awesome if you get in to the end of next Friday night and we got seven under our belt. Yeah. You guys understand that? Yes, sir. Because just listen. You get seven and then you can go get eight. Yeah. Talked about the beginning of the year. You guys joked and laughed her out. You get to go write your own script. Well, it's right there in front of us to go take. Yeah. You're going to have to go get it. You're going to have to go earn it. But absolutely, I'm damn happy and proud of you. Let's find a way to go get two more. But all we can focus on is getting 1-0 and this next week. Let's get focused and find a way to go beat our rival next week in Fayetteville. Yeah. Hell of a job. I'm proud of you. Let's go bowling, baby. Yeah. This portion of This Week in Mizzou Football is presented by Bud Light, proud friend of the Missouri Tigers and famous among friends. The enthusiasm is palpable following Mizzou's win at Vanderbilt. The Tigers qualify for a bowl game for the first time under head coach Barry Odom in just their second season under his direction. Everything that's happening right now with, with the success we're having, uh, Coach Odom deserves it 100%. Um, he's so dedicated to this, this program, this state, this university. Everything about the University of Missouri, he wants, you know, he wants it to be successful. Tight end Albert Okoebuna is the SEC's freshman of the week after a two touchdown performance, just part of a balanced effort against Vandy that saw the Mizzou offense, defense, special teams, and kicking game all score. It's, it's a great feeling just uh, to send the seniors out the right way. Our desire was to get to a bowl game and we're doing, we're going bowling now. It's a great feeling, it's a feeling I haven't felt since I've been here and we just gotta keep it rolling, just go one and next week. The destination is still to be revealed, but what is assured is this. Mizzou will compete in a bowl game this holiday season, and they know just how they got here. Well, they've got to be close as a, as a team. They've got to have uh, you know, relationships that are built on trust and honesty. They've got to have tremendous resolve, and they, got to, they better have some toughness. And uh, if you've got some of those qualities, you know, you're going to be OK. If you've got a lot of them, you're going to be better than OK. Mizzou football is proud to partner with Missouri Credit Union and High V in an effort to sack hunger in Missouri. For each Tiger sack during the 2017 season, each sponsor will donate $100 to the Food Bank for Central and Northeast Missouri. Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Ever wonder what's in a beer? If it's a Bud Light, it's four essential ingredients. Barley, rice, water, and hops. Here's to the beer you can always count on. Brewed to be America's favorite light lager. I've said this and I'll say it again, the crowd has grown so much. We're playing with 5,000 to 8,000 people. That was such an awesome environment. I mean, what an incredible environment. They were a great six man for us today. That place got really loud. Ready for the win. Are you kidding me, Sophie Cunningham? There's a special energy in this building. Everything falling for the Tigers. You know they play tough at home. They've got a great record here. 
This Week in Mizzou Football Spotlight is presented by Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Jordan Harold just knew he was always supposed to be here, always supposed to be on this field making plays, that he was always supposed to be a Missouri Tiger. But Jordan Harold also knew there's a reason why people say things are easier said than done. A long story short, I uh, made the decision to just uh, risk it all and just try to walk on. Walking on to an SEC football team may not sound like a risk until you consider where Jordan was in life when he made that decision. A scholarship football player at Northwest Missouri State, Harold just knew he could be better than Division II. Around 2014, uh, or early 2015, it was like January, it was cold. Uh, I was down here visiting my girlfriend, and uh, I was like, man, I want to play on that, <laughs> on that stage. And she was like, you can have it if you go get it, and uh, here I am. So he walked away from a scholarship, walked away from playing time, walked away from his life in Maryville, Missouri, and took a chance. You don't want to live with what if. Uh, I heard that so much. Uh, and I just, just thinking about that, thinking about all the things that I wanted to accomplish, all the things that I dreamed of. Uh, that was something I just had to go for. It was a fire. It was like I couldn't sleep sometimes thinking about it. So I just, <laughs> I just did it. But it's never that simple for a walk-on, is it? Jordan's big break came in spring camp 2016 just happened to be Barry Odom's first camp as head coach. Jordan was hoping that his hard work would catch the new coach's eye. I think just effort. I think that's one thing he always told me. I had, like my effort. He appreciated my effort. Believing in each other um, and believing in the things that we're doing and just trusting in each other and trusting yourself. That buy-in earned Jordan a chance in the 2016 season, and he took advantage. Jordan Harold was right where he was supposed to be. For me, it's a it's a huge triumph. Uh, it's something I'm very thankful and grateful for. Um, it's an experience that uh, you don't really get to take it in all the time because you know you're trying to play football. But like when you think about it and when you sit back, it's, it's a, wow. He graduates in December and plans to start working on his MBA with the ultimate goal of owning an NFL team one day. And nobody will ever be able to tell Jordan Harrell he can't live his dream. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, just everything that, that's transpired, I mean, you have more in you than you think you do. So, as long as you believe in yourself and everything that you do, no one can stop you. Shop the Tiger Team Store, the official store of Mizzou Athletics. The Tiger Team Store has the largest selection of official Mizzou gear for every fan. Visit the Tiger Team Store's many locations on game day or every day and online at TigerTeamStore.com. It's Mizzou, folks. I can't hear you. The zoo is rocking. Talk about setting the tone. That's the way you come out and establish who you want to be. Barry Odom is fired up. I like that. He is so talented. On the way to the house. And the Tigers' defense delivered. They were all over. If you don't respect Missouri, they will hurt you. How about these Tigers? Ready, Tim? Let's do this. Was that Mike? That's Harry. The car stopped for me. And that's automatic emergency braking. The Nissan Rogue family take on today. Bottom line, they still can't touch you. <laughs> I'll take it. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. This portion of This Week in Mizzou Football is presented by your local Trusted Choice independent insurance agent. Visit trustedchoice.com to find an agent in your area.
It was arguably the biggest game in the century-old rivalry between Mizzou and Kansas. Thanksgiving weekend in Kansas City, second-ranked KU, fourth-ranked MU. Quite simply, Armageddon at Arrowhead Stadium, with the victor winning the Big 12 North Division and quite possibly ascending to number one in the country. There was no question about it. You know, I, and I, I told my family this, that you know, this, this without question will be the biggest game in the history of this great rivalry. It'll never ever happen again. And I just wanted to win it. 80,000 fans on hand here tonight. And when it's over, one of these two schools will be ready to erupt and celebrate. Mizzou struck first on a fourth down touchdown to Martin Rucker. Diving end zone, touchdown Missouri. And with the Tiger defense stepping up, Mizzou poured it on. Picked off, intercepted by Moore. Three-man rush. Daniel still looking for somebody open. Retreats on the move, complete. Alexander scores. Scramble around a little bit, try to make a play, and and Denario just comes right in, right in my vision. All of a sudden. I, mean, I think it was like 12 or 13, 14 seconds after the snap. Find him, he's able to sneak in. So that was that was pretty. That was probably one of the cooler plays that I can look back on and sort of remember in my entire college career. Throws middle, intercepted on the deflection. They made some plays on defense that that kind of turned the. Once you're up 21 nothing, then you can afford to to make a few mistakes. Jackson behind him, hands to Jimmy Jackson, running left. Does he break the plane? Touchdown, Missouri. They've got a three touchdown advantage now, Kirk. It's all uphill for the Jayhawks. KU made it close with a furious fourth quarter comeback. But in the end, it was all Mizzou. Trips to the right, Meyer to the left side. Reese being chased, hitting the end zone. Safety, ball game, bingo. That's Mizzou it. is going to knock off its arch rival. The border belongs to the Tigers. To, to see that sack and to, I mean, everyone talks about right. Ty Reesing has that has that dirt club in his in his in his helmet. I mean, that's something that you know we'll always remember. Five consecutive wins have lifted Mizzou to bowl eligibility, but they're not satisfied. A seventh win on the season is what they want. They'll have to go through battle line rival Arkansas to get it. I think uh, without question we're playing our best football right now and uh, we're playing it at the right time. But also I'm very, very confident that uh, we can play a lot better. I think the one thing that's really in my mind right now is that we're sitting here at six and six. Six wins is really cool. You get to go to a bowl game, but I think seven sounds a whole lot better. Uh, it will come down to preparation or recovery or discipline or accountability for the next couple of days to find a way to go 1-0 this week. This week in Mizzou football is brought to you by Bud Light, proud friend of the Missouri Tigers and famous among friends. University of Missouri Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center where yes finds a way. Shelter Insurance, for a free auto, home, and life insurance protection review, visit your local shelter agent or find us on the web at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield, we're your shelter and Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs.